Hi everyone, this is Chihiro and you are watching African Arts at Africa Center Hong Kong. So today in this series, we are going to cover a film called Tula the Revolt. It's a story about an African man who was enslaved in the Caribbean island called Curacao. So let's look into it. Curacao was originally inhabited by the Kaketio people who belonged to the Arawakan family of languages. But sadly, they died out after the Spanish came and taken them to the Hispaniola island. That was in 16th century and in early 17th, the Dutch came and they established Curacao as a major trade center. If I say trade in this context, it also means slave trades. The vast majority of slaves came from the west coast of Africa. In 1657, the first slave ship reached to Curacao with 191 African on board. So this movie is based on a true story of Tula. Though we don't know where he came from, he became a true hero on this island, miles away from his home. I picked up three most important elements in this movie that reflect a true history of slavery in Curacao. So let's check the ranking. Number three, dancing and singing. All these slaves running around here got something today they didn't have yesterday and they got it from you. It is true that they had some African artifacts on their hand. You can see an excellent collection at the Kura Hulanda Museum, which exhibits the transatlantic slave trade in its totality, from slave capture in Africa through the Middle Passage and the relocation in the New World. The museum also demonstrates that the African and diverse cultural heritage has influenced Curacaoan and Caribbean societies until today. Number two. Tula's awareness towards Tula, the free. revolution. The French have done away with slavery. We should be free by law. So this is what made Tula to determine to fight against the slavery. He was well aware of the situation in Haiti where a slave revolt led by Toussaint had taken over the colonial regime. He was also aware of the French Revolution and the revolutionary regime of liberty, equality and fraternity. In the movie, there are several scenes where enslaved people chant equality, freedom, and brotherhood. Equality! Freedom! Brotherhood! Among the insurgents letter from General Rigaud was cited in which freedom was promised to all slaves in all countries which were under French rule. Now that the Netherlands was placed under French rule since 1795, it was Tula's conviction that slavery would soon be abolished in Curacao as well. Number one, the conversation with Father Jakobas Schunik. Father Jakobas Schunik was sent during the revolt to meet Tula, and fortunately, he recorded the conversation. Father, ain't we people all from one mother, one father? Adam and Eve. We've been done wrong for a very, very long time. We don't want to hurt anybody. We just want our freedom. So those are the real words of Tula. The slave master and the governor pretend like Tula never communicated his intention, but Tula mentions so many times that he's not trying to hurt anyone, he just wants freedom. But still, colonialists didn't listen to him and he was executed in the end. It is important to learn and remember about the freedom fighter like Tula, not only for Curacao or Caribbean people, but also for, for us too, because it changes the whole idea of history that we are familiar with. Definitely, I recommend you to watch the film Tula the Revolt as a start to learn about the untold history. I hope you've learned something. Thanks for watching and see you next week.